Do monkeys love trees? Do monkeys love trees? A lot of us have chosen to believe that monkeys love trees. Because the last time we saw a monkey, it was in a tree. Or it was standing next to one. Or it was running into one. And we told ourselves that monkeys actually do love trees. That's not enough. I was in prison a few months ago, if not a year now, and I found a lot of human beings in prison. At no time did I think that human beings love prison. I was seeing a lot of them for the first time there. I had no idea where they were coming from, but at no time did I think that they love prison. So monkeys don't love, prison, don't love trees. Monkeys don't love trees. If you thought they do, you were wrong. Monkeys don't love trees. So why are they always in trees? Why? Monkeys love the power, the position, the privilege that they get from the trees. When a monkey is in a tree, not even a lion is a king of a jungle. Not even you can catch it. So monkeys are in trees because they get that power. Monkeys also are in trees because there is an income for them. That's where they find their bread and butter. <laughs> they are in the trees because that's where they get their food. So it's not the tree that they love. It's that privilege. It's that opportunity that these trees present them. Growing up in Indola, I used to go to the nearest uh, zoo. And I liked looking at the, at the monkeys in cages. There was no single tree in there, but there were ropes, swings, and all that in the cages. And the monkeys were no different from those that were in trees. The monkeys were content. They were, they were just as good as those that were in, tree, were in trees. So it wasn't about the trees, it was about the ability to swing, the ability to do what they wish in the cage. So why do we think that monkeys love trees because we see them in trees? That is a convenient thought for so many of us. But that's not true. As we are thinking about that, I would like to make it a little controversial because that's what most of you know me for. Do politicians love poor people? Do monkeys love trees? <laughs> poor people are like accessories. They're like Staircases. No single politician has ever won an election by siding with the rich people. Not even one. Politicians need the poor people's votes. Even in the richest countries, they will tell you how much they how many jobs they'll create. Politicians want votes. It's not about the tree. It's about the power. It's about the positions. It's about that privilege. It's about the opportunity that comes when the poor people vote. 
the opportunity that comes when a monkey climbs a tree. So it's not about the tree. It's not about the poor people. Of course, you see them come to your markets. They'll, see, they'll come to your townships. It's not about you. When you see me walking up the stairs, don't you dare think that I love stairs. <laughs> it's the only way I can get to the top. If there was a lift, I was going to use a lift because I want to get to the next level. So when politicians come and speak to the poor people, when they talk about the poor people, it's not about the poor people because monkeys don't love trees. If a politician wants to get a loan, they will not go and say, I've got 10 million rich men in my country. They will speak about the 13, 14, the 80 million poor people that are in that particular country because that's how that's when they get these uh, loans and, 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 and resources. When you hear the American government saying they're about to close the Mexican border, do you think it's because they love the jobless? No. They will have an election, an election next year or the other year. <laughs> they want those votes. <laughs> they want those votes. When you heard of xenophobia in South Africa, and the president was sounding nice and cool. Do you think it was because he loved those people that were fighting for jobs as maids and truck drivers? No. <laughs> Poor people are like staircases. So these politicians will climb for them to get to their next level. Because monkeys don't love trees. When a monkey is in a tree, so many opportunities. There is food. You don't even have to throw bananas and all that rubbish at them, because they are in a tree where there is abundance of that. When a politician is a minister, president, or MP, they have access to all that. That's why they don't even hang around the poor people anymore. Because monkeys don't love trees. As people, as poor people, we can do what some trees do. When a monkey gets fat, the branch will, will break. When the monkey gets fat and heavy, the branch will do what? Because the monkey is not going to trim or prune a tree. It's none of its business. The monkey is not there to improve or care for the welfare of a tree. If you were to be good enough and say, I'm going to trim all these trees, you'd be disadvantaging the monkey because the monkey won't be able to swing from one tree to the other. That is why a politician cannot sponsor your education, because when you become too educated, you become so difficult to control. That is why a politician would give you money to eat now and not a job, because when you, become, when you get a job, you become busy, you become powerful. He won't ask you to go and attend his rally and give you a t-shirt because you'll be at work. The reason is simple, because monkeys don't love trees. You and I have a responsibility. We can do what that tree does. If they get big and fat, break. How are we going to do this? The tree does not benefit anything from a monkey that sits in it. It is not beneficial for the tree. There is everything to benefit for the monkey.
The tree will have to do something for itself. You and I will have to do something for ourselves. If you're a young man and young woman, you are the citizen of the future. These old people that we see now, this is the future they were working hard for. This is their place. This is not your place. Get yourself an education. When I speak about an education, I don't mean go to the university. Get a book. Read. Become aware. Invest in yourself. So when they bring you a manifesto, look at it like a young man trying to rob you of your power. Because you're not weak. It is, it is your power that buys them those big, nice vehicles. It is your power that makes you and I refer to them as honorables. So without your power, they are not that. There's no way you can give power the power that you do not have. As I leave, I invite all of you to remember that monkeys don't love the trees. It is up to you as a tree. Are you going to be used as a staircase for somebody to get to the top? When they get there, they start drinking and enjoying the, the rich man's beer. Are you going to allow yourself to be that staircase? My challenge, my invitation to all of you in here, and whoever is going to listen to me, is do what the tree does. Prune yourself. Trim yourself. Because the monkey is not going to do that. The monkey is not going to do that. If you want an education, for the young people, if you want an education for you as an old person, it's not on their agenda. It's not their, it's not their interest. Claim it. Do it. After all, democracy is the rule of the people, by the people, for the people. Be that person. Thank you very much.